In this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to add images to processing and to um, create a couple of different effects to alter the way that your um, images appear in processing. So to begin with I have downloaded two images here from Creative Commons that I may use through the Share Alike license. Um, the first is this picture of a too cute dog which I've set to 400 by 400 pixels and the second is a sunflower image that I've also set to 400 by 400 pixels. Um, I'm going to open up processing. I am going to save this project. Uh, I'm going to save it as my images project. You could save it whatever you want it to be called. Um, and I'm going to save it inside my processing folder. Now you notice by default, um, and by the way, if this is collapsed on your Mac, feel free to open it up so you can see the full path of where you're saving your documents. By default, um, processing projects are saved inside your processing folder, which is actually installed inside your documents folder if you're on a Mac or a PC. So I can locate documents here, processing, and these are the default folders get, that get installed. Um, if I want to add a new folder for projects, I would simply click New Folder. I'll call it Projects. So here is Projects inside my processing folder, and this is where I'm going to store my Images project. Click Save. And so now I have my Images project here ready to go. Um, I could, of course, save projects to the desktop, but this is just a nice way of keeping them organized all inside the processing folder, inside the projects folder. So now um, I need to load these images in. There are a couple of ways to do that. Um, I could just create a data folder inside my project, um, which is inside the project folder, um, and drag the images in there. Or I can go to the sketch menu here and say add file and this is going to do the same thing for me. So I can um, add file, I click on the desktop to locate the file and I'm going to add um, my sunflower picture first and then I'm going to go ahead and add another file and I'm going to add the too cute dog this time. So now I have added these two images in my processing folder and to check that they've been put in there I'm just going to click to the finder, go documents again just to verify, go back down to processing, click on projects, my images project and notice that by using that add file command it created a data folder and inside there are the two images that I added. Now as I say you could have done this manually um, but it's probably easiest just to click on the add file um, command from the uh, sketch menu. Okay so there they are in fact there. So now I want to load these images in and um, uh, in order to do that we're going to create a uh, an instance here um, of the P image class. So processing image class uh, and we don't have to create that. That's already uh, built in here for us and in order to do that I'm going to say P image IMG um, and we're not using that yet so we get this little orange warning sign but that's okay we're going to use that so um, I'm going to add comments here and this is just like the tutorial that you would be seeing. So declare a variable of the type image or p image sorry p image. Um, so we're using the p image class here and we're declaring a variable of the type image. Then we're going to set our um, 
window size. So I'm going to say void setup. You've seen this before. Open up the curly braces here and I'm going to set the size of my screen and, and as you'll recall I set my images to 400 by 400 pixels. So that's what I want to set the window size to. 400 by 400. You can use whatever images you want but just don't go too big here. Um, of course your images have to match the window size if you want to see them. Here we're going to say we're going to make a new instance of the um, P image class by loading an image file. So once again anything with the uh, forward slashes in front is commented out so the code it will not be read as code. So we're going to say image um, equals load image and inside the parentheses here in quotation marks we put the name of the image. So I'm going to call this one, I'm going to say um, too cute dog dot jpeg. Semicolon, close my curly braces, um, and it gives me an error because I didn't add the um, quotation marks to close it. And then we're going to say void draw. Once again, open up the curly braces here. And we're going to say background and add the value of zero, no background. Once again, add some comments here. We're going to draw the image to the screen at coordinate zero, whoops, zero, zero and then image img 0 0 semicolon and then finally close the um, block of code here so let's run this and see if it loads the image so I simply click run or command R and sure enough, there is my dog image. So now we know how to load um, one of these images into our processing window.